Thank you again, um, um, Pastor Paul and um, Elder Murray, uh, for this opportunity to present the word and to have this fellowship here with the, the, the brethren. Um, my topic for today is Lord, save me. That prayer um, of Peter while he was sinking, while he was on the verge of sinking, attempting to walk on the water. And I just pray that the word today will fi find good soil in your heart and they will um, grow, um, it will grow and bear good fruit. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful for your love and mercies um, towards the children of men. Um, your love is always amazing and your grace has never lost its novelty. Uh, Father, once again, it is our desire um, to enter into a new dimension of intimacy with you. Uh, Father, we realize the times we are living in and Father, we want to to um, express our resolve that we are still trusting in you to take us um, through um, these turbulent times. And, and even as we um, delve into your word now, I pray, Father, that you give us a fresh revelation of yourself, of your love, and what you want to do for us for the rest of our lives. We pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're talking today about, Lord, um, save me, that prayer of peter lord save save me matthew 14 um 30 to 31 it's one of the most amazing scenes in all the scripture uh, uh jesus walking on the water well not just jesus walking on the water but peter walking on the water also well the greatest miracle of all time uh, recorded in the bible the the, the resurrection of of jesus uh, well the second greatest one uh, would would definitely be jesus walking on the water but you could uh, arguably you could say that the, the great the, maybe the second greatest miracle is jesus um bidding and peter a mere mortal to also walk on water it is a it's a it's an it is an astounding visual uh you can imagine what uh, thoughts would have gone through th their heads when they saw him coming and towards them in the, f the the fourth watch of the night well maybe had you been there maybe your superstitious side would have shone um, through taking over they look with their natural eyes uh, um, not the, the eyes of faith and instead of seeing the god man they saw a ghost mirage they say it is a ghost a uh, uh, phantasma the word is an apparition or a phantom, a specter, a, a, a spirit, a supernatural being uh, that has become visible, uh, a word associated with magic and charms, thus uh, um, with the system of Satan. Uh, uh, imagine these God-fearing Jewish men like these, uh, like the, the disciples had a superstitious streak. Um, they had heard many stories of people who had had uh, a face-to-face -face contact with demonic forces. And um, you know how it is. You don't think it is real. Uh, um, you know that uh, the, the dead knows nothing uh, uh, but you really don't want to be in a graveyard when night falls um, you, or to pass under that banana tree when it is dark. You know, you, you, you know, you'd avoid uh, um, um, such situation. Had you been there, you would have had one or two thoughts. It is a ghost mirage as the, the, most of the disciples thought, or like Peter, you would have said, this is the God man. This is my master. Uh, and whatever my master uh, uh, um, does, I like to do also. So even walking on the water. Uh, so Peter being a good student, wanting to be a good student said, Lord, it, if, if, if it is you bid me come on the water, because I know you can. Imagine they in the midst, uh, the midst of a vow, they're violent, they tossed um, boat uh, in a violent sea. Um, Peter is the only mere human to ever walk on water. Probably he didn't go very far. And I know sometimes Peter gets uh, a, a bad press, you know, you know, he's, he's always uh, opening his mouth. And uh, as a matter of fact, one preacher said the only reason he opened his mouth was to change 
feet. It, it, not that he always was put in his feet. It, it, it is a man that had, had, had um, uh, feet permanently in his mouth. He only opened his mouth to change feet. But 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 he, let's 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 give him um, some credit. He's the only mere human being to walk on water. Give him some credit uh, because he was willing to do so, and no one else was. Uh, um, uh, let, let me tell you, they, when you read, um, when you read, when you read the scriptures, you will not find, you will not find any other name. Uh, um, you will not find, well, well, this is not the story of Bartholomew walking on the water uh, because Bartholomew uh, stayed in the boat. This is not the story of Matthew walking on the water because Matthew also stayed in the boat. He played it safe like most people in this life. They will play it safe forever. This is not the story of James walking on the water because James also stayed in the boat. But this is the story of Peter walking on the water because Peter, he was the only one with the courage to get out of the boat, out of the comfort of, of his life. Uh, we need to get out of our boat today. Maybe some uh, of the others wanted to, uh, uh, maybe, uh, but maybe, but they didn't. Maybe, maybe they really wanted to, but they stayed in the boat. Uh, 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 maybe um, they would have have it that well. Um, well, maybe let me see. Let me see how Peter fear, and then maybe I'll give it a try. You know, sometimes you know we're waiting for some of our friends to do some things. You know, maybe some uh, at, at some business deal. Let me see. You 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 do it first. Just like maybe even the vaccination. Some people say, let me see, let me see you after you've gotten the vaccination first, and let me wait a, a six months or so after, and let me see if anything happens to you, and then I'll get <laughs> I'll get I'll get mine. You know, um, but let me tell you. Um, they might not have got, gotten onto the boat and, and played it safe, but guess what? They never had the opportunity to uh, to to uh, experience what it was like to walk on the water. You may say today, I'm not getting out of my boat, the boat of my life. I'm going to play it safe. And, and, and because guess what? I, I, when I do so, I will never sink. Remember how Peter sank? It will never happen to you. Well, let me tell you, you may never sink, but you may also never have the experience of what it is like to walk on the water with somebody who would say a a a a amen let me let me let me, let me tell you some people it will will think well 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 you know are you really telling me to get out of the boat and walk on water today? Can we come into a prayer in a little in a little while? Remember what happened to Peter? You know, some people, you know, they just like, uh, um, uh, um, very negative. You know, you know. Uh, if they were to, as, as one person say, you know, you put them in a dark room and they may develop. They definitely would develop. They're so dead negative, always thinking negative uh, things. And maybe some people might, might have read the Bible up to the part where Peter sank and, 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 and say, you know what? End of the story, you know, none of this for me, you know. And here this, this preacher telling me to get out of the boat, the comfort of my life and to walk on water. And uh, you see what happened to Peter? Uh, they may be saying in, in their mind, you, you, you see how Peter sank? Uh, yeah, yes, and, and uh, as the preacher, preacher might be saying, uh, just imagine with me, yes, I, I, I wish that wasn't in the Bible. That's one of the saddest things in the Bible that Peter sank. And you know how when old Peter sank and drowned there and, uh, and, and, and John and, and, and Andrew dragged him back into the boat and said, you fool, you, shouldn't have got, uh, you should have never gotten out of the boat. Uh, 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 now we've got to tell um, your family, we've got to tell your wife and and and, and and your mother-in-law and you remember and just forward a few verses later and, 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 and they're at the funeral and now they're saying um, um this is the saddest funeral ever the funeral of peter and, and james and, and the disciples were criticizing uh, one another for ever letting peter get out of the boat and jesus was there saying oh boy uh, did i make a mistake inviting this man to get out of the boat that was a tragic thing uh, what a sad funeral that was right uh, you bible um, um, scholar well well forward a few verses a few verses later uh, um down down and, and then in the eulogy uh, andrew is re re reading the the, the the eulogy and and peter's wife uh, 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 just couldn't contain herself and 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 uh, and, and, and his, his mom uh, um, 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 peter's mother-in-law is there you know and they and they interrupt the, the the eulogy instead of remembering the good man for for who he was you know and the and the, and the, the great provider he was they started her 
hurling insults and, and blaming uh, 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 um, um, the conference uh, and say, we're going to sue the Capernaum conference uh, for negligence and we're going to get Jesus struck off for incompetence. And, 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 and she started cussing and, and, and the rest of the disciples uh, for lack of common sense. And they had to call the deacons in to break up the funeral. Was that how it happened? <laughs> you, know, you know it didn't, everybody. The Bible says, when he saw the wind, when he saw the wind, the word of God says, when Peter saw the wind, that is the effect of the wind. You can't really see the wind. But when he saw the effect of the wind or the potentially damaging tendency of the wind, uh, uh, um, well, too much uh, 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 so many of us, we are just uh, too too much aware of the elements, like Peter was aware of the elements around him and the dangers uh, which they imposed, the surging waves, the fierce and angry billows. He had ridden these waves before he knew uh, uh, what these storms could do. He had heard the stories. He had seen the, the wreckage. He knew the withers. He knew the storm could kill. He saw the deaths, uh, uh, death steering him in his eyes. He felt death breathing on his neck. Uh, he heard death calling his name. He maybe imagined in, in the headlines of the Bethsaida Times or the Capernaum Chronicle or the Jerusalem Gazette, uh, 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 um, famous uh, and, 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 and um, Sea and seasoned fishermen drowned at sea, or seasoned fishermen turned preacher drowned at sea. He could imagine it all. And, and, and the Bible says, when he saw the wind or the potentially damaging effect or tendency of the winds, he feared the winds. Uh, 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 that that uh, and he said, any second now, I, I I could be gone with the wind. And he did. But but guess what? He did something brilliant. He did something brilliant. We should all follow. He cried out uh, to that which was not affected by the wind. Somebody should write that down. Peter cried out to that which uh, was not affected by the wind. Remember now in the Sea of Galilee uh, 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 and it, it, it was uh, was was susceptible to sudden and extremely violent wind. Well, I wish I could preach another sermon why they were they were sent in 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 the wind. But Jesus knew they were. You know, Jesus he anticipated the wind, you know. But he sent the disciples away. Uh, well, uh, in another sermon, I would tell you that he sent them away because he didn't like politics. You know, you know they wanted to make him king. They say yeah, and then I mean, imagine Peter saying if if he's king, I'm I'm second in charge, and Judas is saying I'm treasurer. You, you, you know. So they wanted right there and then when he fed the crowd, let's make him king, 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 Jesus king. And you could hear them chanting and Jesus said, get in the boat and get to the other side. And then and, and, and they, they went and a storm happened. And in other words, Jesus was saying in his, in his mind, I'm going to give you something else to think about than politics. I wish that would ring in somebody's ears and echo in their hearts and resound in their spirit. Because sometimes in this church, as all we seem to do, just plotting and, uh, 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 you know, um, who's going to be the next in the chair, you you know, and let me say something, brothers and sisters. Ministry is what we do behind the scenes, not so much what we do uh, in the pulpit. You know, I like preaching. You know, I, I enjoy this thing. You know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> You know, I do enjoy, I do enjoy the word, but let me tell you, even behind the scenes, there is work to be done. Sometimes uh, after nominating committee, you might not uh, have um, been um, called to, to the, the, the task that you you enjoyed before but God is not retiring you God is only reassigning you and you must say to God uh, they pray to him and say God what will you have me do uh, 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 next ne next next step you know what will be my next step and just thought, help me to be prepared whatever comes I'm just willing to to do this that's that's, that's what's just an, an aside but he cried to the the only thing or, or the that which was not affected by the wing he cried uh, not to the mountains, not to the in the surrounding sea, but to the mountain in the midst of the sea. Somebody should say amen because we know that Jesus is a rock. He's the rock of ages. He's a rock in a weary, weary land. That's why Claudette um, um, Clark, some of you remember Claudette Clark, she, she puts us this way. God is a mountain. God is a mountain. In, in, in most Old Testament references, God is, 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 
is not just described as a rock, but the rock, <laughs> the rock. Uh, the Israelites understood that God was not just one source of strength and protection. He was their only strength and their only hope and their only refuge. The Lord is my shepherd, uh, my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, uh, uh, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my strong hold uh, my refuge and my savior second samuel 22 2 to 3 for who is beside the lord and who is who is the rock except our god psalm 18 and verse uh, 31 for their god is not like our god uh, um, as even our enemies uh, concede deuteronomy 32 2 and verse 3. God is a personal rock. He's not just a rock or the rock, brothers and sisters, but God uh, is a personal rock and refuge. This is why when we cry, we must say, my rock and my fortress. After receiving the ability to bear, after receiving, uh, after receiving the ability to bear children, Hannah sang, uh, my heart rejoices in the Lord and in the Lord my horn uh, is in the Lord, my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I am del I delight in your deliverance. There is no holy. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one beside you. Hannah says, there is no rock like our God. Sec 1 Samuel 2, 1 and 2. David also praised God for being his stronghold, deliverance, protection, and pr a promoter. Uh, um, he says, I love the Lord, uh, uh, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Uh, Psalm 18, 1 and verse 1 to 2. When God's people trusted in him, they find a uh, strength courage and hope in his strength and the shelter of his love uh, proverbs 3 5 to 6 uh, um, it's when we rely on our own strength or place our hope in our in, in other sources as the israelite often did we discover how flimsy all uh, um, other hope and strongholds really are this is why God spoke through the prophet Isaiah saying, do not tremble, do not be afraid. Did I not proclaim this and tell it long ago? You are my witnesses. Uh, is there any God beside me? Uh, 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 no, there is no rock. And God is now speaking. I know not none, not one. <laughs> God is saying to the disciples, don't rely, and to us, and, and to, to, to the entire human race, for all those who would uh, come to know him as Savior and trust in him, no, there is no rock. I know not one. Psalm 90, a prayer of David, a prayer of Moses, the man of God. Lord, you have been our dwelling place through all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Uh, you return man to dust, saying, return, O son of man. In other words, what Peter was doing when he cried out to God, he exercised his mustard seed faith, his bruised reed faith, his flickering candlelight faith, and cried out to Jesus the rock of ages the rock that was there before the foundation of the world uh, and the psalmist says the mountains may crumble into the sea but the lord of hosts the one who was there before the mountains were created he's our rock he's our refuge he will save us the lord is with us uh, so, so 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 peter cried lord save me he cried out to the only one that was not affected by the wind and the current and the uh, uh, and the, the, the boisterous winds winds uh, 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 lord save me now listen now peter didn't say lord help me back into the boat where it is safe he cried lord save me i've got a plot let me take it down just a second so 
and he had got the stack in um, uh, Alabama some time ago. I'll read it for you in a little while. But Peter cried out, Lord, save me. He didn't say, get me back to the safety of the boat. Lord, save me. And get this now, because Peter recognized uh, that security was, he didn't say, Lord, get me back into the safety of the boat or Lord, calm the wind as you did the last time we were in the in, in the boat and, 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 and we recognized that and no, no, no water could swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean and earth and sky, but they all shall sweetly obey his will. And Lord, just say, peace be still. He didn't say that because Peter's getting to know Jesus a little bit more. And every time you get to know Jesus a little bit more, every time he reveals himself to, to, to you, your prayer life also takes on a new dimension. And some of the things you used to ask for, you no longer ask for because you realize that God is just great. And whatever he does or choose to do in his own time is, 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 just, is just great. He didn't say, Lord, get me back into the safety of the boat or, 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 or get rid of the wind because he recognized that safety. And get this now. Somebody needs to write this down. Let me just slow down a bit to first or second gear. He, he, didn't, he didn't say, Lord, uh, uh, get rid of the wind or get me back to the safety of the boat. But he said, Lord, save me. And in saying this, uh, Peter recognized that his security and his salvation was not dependent on the absence of the wind or being in the safety of the boat, but in the presence of the Savior. Let me say it one more time. Um, uh, let me personalize this. My safety and uh, your safety is not dependent on the absence of the wind, but the presence of the Savior, the Lord of the wind. I wish somebody, I, if, I, if, if I was here in this sermon, I'd be, well, I'll jump up for you. I'll, <laughs> I'll enjoy this all by myself. You know, I like my own cooking, you know. I like my own cooking. And sometimes, well, even if somebody, you know, I like cooking cassava dumpling and banana dumpling. Even if somebody enjoys it, I enjoy it by myself. And I'll, I'll enjoy the, the word by myself. So your security, let me say it again, is not found in the absence of the wind. We are looking for the corona uh, protocols to be lifted. We are looking for this virus to disappear anytime now so we can return to life as normal. But let me say it one more time. Your security and your salvation is not dependent on the absence of the wind, whatever the wind is. And the wind, what I'm talking about Amen. is not... It's not the mere uh, uh, wind that is blowing uh, um, uh, um, violently or contrary in our lives, but any adversity, any challenge, any financial reversal, any setback. Sometimes we pray in the middle of uh, 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 the, the start of the, the, the day, Lord, 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 help me to have a good day. Help me to have, uh, 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 keep back all the forces of evil uh, and just help me to have a smooth day. Whatever is coming at me, Lord, deal with it. You know, that's, that, that's a mature prayer. A mature prayer, a mature prayer is, Lord, whatever comes my way, whatever the challenge is, Lord, help me to know that you are with me, that you are God. Emmanuel, that you are God with me in the storms, uh, uh, in, in the blizzards, uh, um, in, in, in the hurricanes, um, in the drought, whatever the weather, Lord, you are with me, you are Emmanuel. So he says, Lord, save me, however you choose to save me, anyhow you bless me, Lord, is fine. This is in the contemporary ver ver version. Lord, save me. He says, Lord, that word Lord is a word of acknowledgement. Let me just park here for a little while. Lord, a word of acknowledgement. Uh, uh, um, the recognition that whatever I have achieved, accomplished, acquired, or accrued, there is someone greater than I. Uh, we have gotten intoxicated with our own power, truth be told. Uh, um, we have often tested positive for, for pride, truth be told. And even if we take the test over and over again, like some of us are taking the, what's, what's called the lateral flow uh, testing, you know, some people have to do it every week or every other week. But since if some of us were to do that every week, we recognize that we've often tested positive for pride. There is something about our ability that tells us that we are greater than we actually are. Uh, maybe Peter thought, well, I'm a great uh, um, seaman. And, and, and there was a time he had, the, he had the gall and the audacity to tell Jesus when and where to fish. 
Jesus said, push out your boat a little bit and you're going to catch many fish. And remember now the fishermen uh, had left, uh, um, they, they were washing their nets, you know, they went out all night and they didn't catch not even two teke teke fish, you know, and, and they were washing their nets in the middle of the, 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 the well, early in the morning, just about maybe, I would say about six o'clock or so. And the people there, there was a crowd uh, early in the morning. What was the crowd doing so early in the morning, you know, wanted to hear a word from Jesus? Well, they were stalking him. You know, he had just come back from the secret place where he would go to, to 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 meet his father in prayer and all of a sudden early in the morning there was a crowd of people imagine how people uh, back then would have been uh, uh, um would, would, have, would have been um, craving the word of God. We have it now on the internet. We've got many Bibles. Sometimes, you know, as the song says uh, of a Bible, when we think of the Bible, it, when we look at it, there's a lot of dust. Somebody says, dust on the Bible, uh, dust on the Holy Word. We need to take the dust of the Bible and, and, and reclaim our, our poor some, some soul, uh, some, something like that. But here they are uh, early in the morning. They wanted to hear uh, Jesus. And, and uh, after the sermon, and you know, you know the story very well, Jesus let me use your boat as a pulpit. And after the sermon, um, Peter, Jesus said to Peter, push it out a little further in the deep and you will catch many fish. Uh, uh, um, Jesus, Peter is now ready. Now there are two Peters in the Bible. There's um, uh, one, uh, 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 one, one person, but two personalities. Peter before the cross and after the cross. Uh, Peter is saying, uh, you, you can't be fishing so early in the morning you know you got fish or you know um very very much earlier than this you know when the fish come up to bite and and, and all that you can't do this he said so we've tried all night and we have we have caught nothing he, re he remember the story very well but peter said something unlike peter before the cross because he said okay lord if, if, if you say so if you say so, uh, um, and uh, you, you know very well, you know they had a great draught of fish, and and and, um, and Peter uh, 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 surprised everybody was um, stunned by the great catch of fish. But Peter was stunned by the greatest catch of all. Jesus, the the, the not just the, the 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 matter of the fish, but the 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 author of the miracle uh, of, 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 of the fish. But but imagine to think there was a time he thought, well, I know the sea from center to circumference. You know, I've been fishing in these waters since my, 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 my I was at my knee or since I was so high. And he was, he had the, the, the goal to almost tell Jesus how to fish and not knowing that this was the Lord of earth, space, sea and skies, ruler of time, king of eternity. This man, he, he he's not, the, not just a, um, one who is a, a wave walker. He may the waves as a matter of fact in this in this text uh, um this text um declares that jesus was the son of god because he walked on the water and 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 we will get to job in a, in a little while but but peter was a man and he said to himself i'm I, I used to be proud but now i recognize that i know nothing i can't even swim as a matter of fact he was he was a a, a great swimmer but at this time when he was fearful all that went out and he's crying lord save me in other words i am nothing and you are everything when we say lord we're saying master uh, you you have it all together and i'm just so out of control lord you are master uh, 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 and and you are the master of the sea lord i sub it is a word of submission we submit to his authority when we say lord in other words i surrender you are the only one with power I am nothing with all of my achievement and my advancement and a little bit of uh, uh, the, the two pence that I have in the bank. You know, sometimes we think we have a little bit of money in the bank and we say, yeah, we are somebody now, you know, until some something happened, <laughs> you, 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 you know. Lord, it is a word of submission, but let's get to the last part. Save me, save me. He's Lord of the sea. That's why he was walking on it. <laughs> You know, uh, Jesus, Jesus walking on the water re, 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 recalls the description of Jehovah in Job 9 uh, uh, um, would serve to demonstrate that Jesus was God. Uh, 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 this is what Job says, Job 9 and verse 8. You alone stretches out the heavens and tramples down or treads on the waves of the sea. This, this is what Job is saying. You are the one who did that. <laughs> it's been He's been walking on the water ever since he created the water. Get this now. Let this ring in 
your ears and echo in your heart. He's not an amateur wave walker who keeps stumbling and falling and, and trying to find equilibrium. Uh, uh, sometimes he nails it uh, 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 and sometimes he misses. He misses as some of our footballers, I won't call any name, you know, uh, he's not, he's, 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 he's been walking on the waves ever since he invented the waves or created the waves. He's not affected by the current, the gales, because he's Lord of all. Uh, the Holy uh, Christ is not subjected to matter. He's the rock. Uh, 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 he's beat rock, wind, water. In the scripture, you will see him coming in out of the grave, coming, going in the grave uh, as a, as a, as a dead person, but coming out of the grave, and you say, and well, God sent the angel to roll away the stone. Well, the truth is that the stone was not rolled away for Jesus to come out, but it was rolled away for you to get in and to see that he's not there. He is risen. The Holy Lord doesn't need help to get out of a situation. He's not subjected to matter. No, this is why we see after the resurrection, you see him uh, uh, and the disciples were in, in one of the upper rooms, you know, uh, fear, fearing their lives that they could be next. Maybe they'll be the next to crucify. They were in fear. They were hiding. And here comes Jesus walking through the, the wall. <laughs> you know, and he said, don't fear. Of course, if you see Somebody come walking through the through the, through the wall, your, 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 your heart would be in your mouth. But Jesus has a way of, you know, fear not, fear not, it is I, you know, fear, 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 fear not. But, 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 but the, the, the thought is that Jesus will get to you <laughs> however or whenever he likes. You know, who was it? Um, Alita Adams, she sings, you can reach me by Kevin, you know, you can reach me. In other words, a hundred ways to reach. No, 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 not for Jesus. The, the song Jesus would be singing is, ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no river wide enough. Ain't no valley low enough to keep me from getting to you. Jesus recognized his disciples were perplexed and, and, and in fear on the water. And the storm was separating him from them. And he's coming through the storm, even if it means walking on the water and somebody should say amen because jesus will get to you wherever you are so we say lord you are the lord you are the one who made the sea and because of that you have control over the sea and and you know what lord save me save me um if some of us were to uh, um, be honest, we would say, well, we used to think, uh, I used to think I need, I needed no one, you know, especially some of us, you know, we start to make a bit of money, you know, we don't need nobody, you know, you know, there was a time we, we relied on the next door neighbor for stuff, you know, uh, you know, I remember, you know, my mom sending me to borrow sugar I can't borrow sugar from somebody borrow sugar he borrow sugar <laughs> or egg you know or from the neighbor you ask them for a wrench or, or machete or whatever you don't have or if your fridge break down you gotta ask them for ice or whatever we relied on people after time you know some of us we start to think when we start to get a little bit of money and we can buy our own stuff we don't need nobody you know and that was the testimony of Paul he was the captain of his ship and the master of his faith. This was his testimony, but after he encountered Jesus on the Damascus road, uh, um, uh, um, um, he was the one, uh, before, before this, he was the one giving the orders. He calls the shots, uh, but now he could not even get around the room without assistance. One day, um, uh, one day uh, um, you are self-sufficient. Next day, somebody is giving you personal care. This is why we gotta humble ourselves. We just don't know. We just don't know. So we need to cry and say, Lord, save me. Save me. And as I come to an end, save me or deliver me. Not from the wind. Get this now, brothers and sisters. Save me when Peter was crying, Lord, save me, deliver me, not from the wind, not from the adversities, uh, the, the, not from Corona, uh, 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 but something more damaging, brothers and sisters, when Peter saw the wind, the potential destructive tendency of the wind. When you look in the mirror, turn the spotlight on yourself. 
and you see the potentially destructive nature uh, uh, yourself, uh, uh, why would you not cry like Isaiah, woe is me, if God should deal with me right here, right now, woe is me, and so the, 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 the prayer Lord, save me. It's not so much a, a salvation from the wind. When we're crying out, Lord, save me from, from this um, corona season. Well, that's, not, that's, not, that's not our greatest need. But let me tell you about this prayer. This prayer, I would say this is a perfect prayer, but it is an indispensable prayer. Because for everyone who will walk the sea of glass, as a matter of fact, when we're talking about the story, it's about Peter walking underwater. He's the only one mentioned in the Gospels as walking underwater. But for you to get a mention, you will also have to pray this prayer for you to walk on the sea of glass and uh, actually walking on water because we will all for those who will say lord save me ultimately you will also walk on water but this is an indispensable prayer for everyone who will ever uh, uh, um, receive uh, um uh, um, salvation and, and be ushered into heaven when Jesus comes the second time. But the prayer is not so much from the destructive elements of this world, but when you look in the mirror and you see the potentially uh, destructive nature of yourself, as Paul said, oh wretched man that I, ha I am, who can deliver me from me? <laughs> who can deliver me from me? So the prayer is, um, Lord, save me from me, because all I seem to do is hurt me, uh, Donald Lawrence. Um, uh, so one writer say, so take my heart and mold it, uh, take my mind, transform it, take my will, conform it, save me from myself, Lord, save me from my need to always run my life, Lord, to control my every deed, uh, save me from my pride, Lord, uh, my focus on just me, help me learn to serve, Lord, show me how to be, Lord, save me from the world, Lord, when tempting things entice me, remind me of eternity with you in paradise. Lord, save me from me. I give my life to you, Lord, my every deed you fill. I'm resting in my faith, resting in my faith. Lord, you save me and you always will. Uh, um, uh, um, Joanna Fouch. Uh, um, um, and let me tell you as I close, uh, and, 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 and just saying, uh, um, um, repeating one more time, the storms uh, uh, that we are going through right now, uh, um, uh, maybe I've not said it before, but let me just say it as I close, the storms we are going through right now, and you notice the Bible says that the storm in one version is boisterous, and in another version was contrary, in other words, they are rowing in one direction, but the storm is blowing them in the opposite direction, isn't that how it is sometimes uh, in our lives, we want to go one way, but the storms of life, they're taking us in a completely different direction, as a matter of fact, they should have gotten to where they, where they went, wanted to go in, in just about two hours three hours maybe even two hours or even less <laughs> you, you know but this is the watch this is the fourth watch of the night so jesus sent them away like it, it, late in the evening and they were rowing rowing uh, uh, um, just f futile uh, you know efforts you know and that's how it is sometimes when we are when we when 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 we are going contrary to, to god's will we, we're going nowhere fast or or very slow you know in this um instance um, but look at this, um, the storms that we're going through right now, eh, 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 they are contrary, this corona storm. But get this now, brothers and sisters, um, anticipating, because the, the Bible tells us that in the last days, perilous times uh, shall come. But Jesus gives us an assurance. He says, uh, um, you, you can piggyback on my victory, because get this now, many of us, we have some proclivities, we have some issues that we will never, ever really overcome. But but the aim, the aim of the Christian is not to over, uh, uh, this may sound spurious, but the aim of the Christian is not so much to, to, to work to overcome every issue, every situation in our lives no but to piggyback on the victory that christ has won jesus says in this world you may have or you will have many uh, 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 um, troubles but be of good courage i have overcome the world i have overcome the winds i have overcome this the boisterous and the contrary storms and if only you can 
piggyback on my victory, that will be enough. And then we tell you, when we get to heaven, our testimonies will not be well. You know, I got after a time, I I, be, I became a a, 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 a a champion surfer. You know, I I I just became an expert of surfing the the winds of life. No, no, no. It will be because of Jesus's victory. We piggyback on that. And 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 this is why when we get our crowns, you know, we we're not going to be wearing on crowns in heaven. Well, the Bible said we're going to get crowns, but but we know very well we're going to cast those crowns at his feet it's just like uh, um some of us who are mothers and and, and fathers uh, um we we might not have gone through uh, um um uh, um, college or university and never had the opportunity because we had to provide and we had to work hard and all that but here comes our children and they go through it and we live life through their sucks we 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 we, we in a vicarious way we 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 embrace their success uh, so it is uh, when jesus is crowned lord of all we might have gotten some crowns in our head and and we really don't deserve them this is why we, we're gonna say lord this crown is yours and so sometimes when some high school students they may receive some award you know they say this is mom this is yours dad this is yours you know it's all about you and so it is we'll take these crowns and we throw it at his feet because he's the only one who deserves it but let me tell you as i close um uh, that we're going to have some some greater storms the storms that are coming in the future when we compare them to what is going on right now a corona will be christmas breeze you know about Christmas breeze, some of you, it's going to be a balmy country wind compared to what is coming. So for those of us who are thinking, let me just hope that this corona storm will blow off so I can get back to life as normal. Perish the thought from now on, brothers and sisters. We're going to be, we, we need to, we, we, we're going to be requiring to have that mindset where we are in this place where we're not praying for God to get rid of the wind, but to say, Lord, I'm trusting your presence in the wind of my while the winds are blowing through my life and guess what our lord is walking on the storms today he's walking on the stormy seas of our lives and he will do so in the future he walked the waves of galilee he bids us leave the security of our little boat and walk the waves towards him uh, what looks like safety is perilous without him brothers and sisters and what looks dangerous is only safe uh, of course, when he starts, when we start towards Jesus, Peter was doing the safest thing uh, on that stormy night when he got out of the boat and walked towards the Savior at his invitation. But he did something brilliant when he saw the wind or the potential damaging effect of the wind. He cried out, Lord, I submit, save me. You are my savior. And guess what? He will save us now and he will save us, save us then. As you get ready um, to play, play that song, um, let me just share a word of another song with you. The song says, Though the storm keep on raging in my life And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day Still that hope that lies within is reassured As I keep my eyes upon the distant shore I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed land he has prepared Oh, but if the storms don't see and if the wind keep on blowing in my life, my soul has been anchored in the Lord. Oh, I realize that sometimes in this life we're gonna be tossed by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce but in the word of God I've got an anchor and it keeps me steadfast unmovable despite the storms and the tide but if the storms don't cease 
And if the winds keep on blowing in my life, my soul has been anchored in the Lord. My soul's been anchored. 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 My soul. Oh, my soul's been anchored. In the Lord. I'm compelled to be honest about the future, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is not like Tony Blair's campaign where uh, we, we are going to be told that things are, are going to get better. No, they will get worse before they get better. Uh, the, the, web, the, the weather is going to, the weather is, is going to get worse, brothers and sisters. It will get worse. Um, but the, the good news is there is a savior in the midst of the storm. Uh, the first time he calmed the storm, they asked the question, what manner of man is this? Well, the second time around, after he walked on the water and he got back into the boat, with them they answer their own question surely this is the son of god peter cried out lord save me he didn't say lord take away the wind or get me back to the safety of the boat because sometimes uh, god does something different and i've got this plaque here uh, i'm sharing sharing with you uh, and the plaque says sometimes god calms the storm uh, sometimes he lets the storm rage and calm calms his child and my prayer for you and for myself that when the, the future storms let me tell you corona will be christmas breeze comparing to the storms that are coming our way brothers and sisters especially for those of us who have said yes to jesus yes to his way uh, and i will trust you and i'll obey i'll keep your sabbath holy and even in a time of trouble uh, my desire is not to take the mark of the beast but my desire is to rely on Jesus and whatever happened for I know what air befalls me whether it is death or imprisonment Jesus doeth all things well so I just pray brothers and sisters that our prayer will not be for God to always get rid of the wind but to recognize that in the midst of the wind while we say Lord save me there is a savior let us pray father we are so thankful for your word to our heart our desire is that it will pierce us as a nail firmly driven made ring in our ears echoing to our hearts and resound in our spirit that there is a savior in the midst of every storm may we recognize that even in the future storm you still will be with us you are Emmanuel God with us in the storms in the gales in the blizzards in the droughts in the hurricanes whatever happens you are with us and father we want uh, to say to you we are still trusting you we are trusting lord in in thee oh lamb of calvary humbly at thy feet i bow save me jesus save us now so i pray for someone today who would like to say yes to you or to just ask you lord for a greater uh, level or a deeper uh, um, um, level of faith and that they will step out of the comfort of their boat, even to say yes to you from now on. I want to live for you for the rest of my life. I pray for that person today. I pray for each one of us that our faith will find a resting place. Uh, we will say we need no other evidence when we see the storms coming. We will not doubt you, Lord, whether or not you are a, 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 mir a mirage, as the disciples say, is that a ghost? No, may we recognize, no, a, the God-man is on his way, the Savior is on his way, and no rock, no mountain, uh, no, no sea will stop uh, you from getting to us when we are in trouble if we only exercise uh, uh, our 
our, our faith, our little mustard seed faith in you. But I pray, Father, that someone will look within themselves today and say, Lord, Lord, save me, not so much from the storms of the potential uh, uh, dangers uh, uh, of the storm, but Lord, save me from me. Lord, take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my will. May it be no longer mine, but thine. And ultimately, Lord, it is our desire to be saved in your kingdom. May it be that no one or nothing will take our crown. But Lord, we would have resolved that whatever happens, be it storm, even if they're contrary, we want to keep our eyes on the prize, on Jesus, until we see him face to face. We pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. And amen again.